first of all thanks for being here in my youtube channel so in this lesson number eight on the topic time and work now we are going to solve only three to four question that is based on the logic arithmetic progression so friends this lesson number eight is not that much important for the competitive exams but you have to know there is a logic in time and work where few questions very few question for example out of thousand question in time and work only one or two question will be in this arithmetic progression logic so better learn this logic also right so here the questions right after uh, reading certain number of questions you can see there will be some sequence form like this so by we need to solve this sequence only by an arithmetic progression logic no other way so friends listen here first let me learn what is called as arithmetic uh, progression formula and then we can learn how to apply this in the basic example right so on finding the sum of arithmetic progression usually arithmetic progression is a series like it looks like a number series right by seeing that series we need to find the sum for the total for example let let me take see here 1 plus 4 plus 7 plus 10 and it goes on till 58 right it's it's in the sum logic right so 1 plus 4 they have added 3 4 plus 3 7 7 plus 3 10 10 plus 3 will be 13 16 it goes on till 58 so our target to find what is the total sum if we need to sum we need to find the sum what we need to do in the basic traditional method we need to add 4 plus 1 is 5 so 5 plus 7 is 12 12 plus 10 is 22 so we need to add all the numbers so it is not an easy way right if it is 58 we need to add till 58 so in order to do that we have an formula in arithmetic progression if we use the formula we can able to find what is the sum of this ap understood so arithmetic progression you know in the childhood in 10th standard or 9th standard we would have already learned what is called as arithmetic progression geometric progression we have many formulas in arithmetic progression but here i am going to teach you only one formula which will help to solve a question in time and work that is enough right so we are having many formulas in arithmetic progression we don't want to learn all those formulas only one formula this formula is enough to solve a question in time and work based on the certain logic understood so the formula is s of n is equal to n by 2 2a plus n minus 1 into d so here where n represents the number of terms here how many terms are they starting from 1 it has 58 terms so the number of terms will be given so instead of n we will use the total number of terms and second is d d is the common difference difference between 1 and 4 is 3 right? common difference for all the number is 3 understood so d represents the common difference and a represents the first number so here the first number is 1 so instead of a we substitute the value 1 understood so that's it we will apply all the values in the formula by using the series first after reading time and work question we usually form the series so after forming the series by taking all the numbers difference last number we will substitute in the formula and we will find the sum of the total ap understood so another important thing is here you can able to see one two three four values are unknown understood one is s of n sum is unknown second n is unknown value and a is unknown value d is unknown value so after framing a series out of four definitely we will know three unknown values so our target to find one unknown value and we will find the answer right and second important thing is just see the the value of d is called as a difference right common difference for example here we have one here we have four so the common difference between one and four is three yes so here instead of d we will put the number three but uh, logically remember one thing so the value of d is second number minus first number understood what is the second number here four what is the first number here one so second number minus first number four minus one will be three understood keep that in mind d is called as a difference but anyway remember this d is also called as second number minus first number because if the numbers are in a descending order in that scenario where most of the students will make a mistake that's what i'm saying the value of d is equals to second number minus first number understood so now what we can do is we can solve this series by the given formula that is arithmetic progression formula see here the starting number is 1 and the second number 4 7 10 and it goes on till 58 so here 
our target to find what is the sum of arithmetic progress that is the total value sum what is the formula actual formula we have so s of n will be the total sum right so n divided by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d so this is the formula for ap and now we need to substitute all the values right just see here the value of n will be the number of terms right number of terms which determines here 1 is one term 4 second term 7 third term 10 fourth term till 28 we have 20 terms so here finding is difficult but while reading time and work question we can easily find how many terms are there it's just an example question right so totally 1 2 3 4 till 58 we have 20 terms so instead of n substitute 20 divided by 2 so into 20 so the value of a so the value of a will be the first number so here the first number is 1 so 20 into 1 so 20 minus 1 will be 19 and the d will be the difference so difference is 3 right so now we need to substitute and cancel all the values so here we can cancel it becomes 10 here so this will be 20 so this will be uh, 19 3 and 20 which becomes 59 so 59 into 10 so the total sum will be 590 so this will be the answer for this given example series right if you need to solve in a traditional way right it's a lengthy process just see we need to add like this 1 4 7 10 13 16 19 22 so we need to write all these numbers until 58 and we need to add all the values here also you will go to get only 590 right so it's a traditional method but this this won't help you even in childhood right so because it's a lengthy process that's the reason they have given an ap formula so use this ap formula and you will find the answer understood only thing is uh, the value of n will be given in the question while reading time and work question we can able to find what is the total number of terms here so by using that we will substitute the value of n always remember that the d is the difference so which we usually call it as a difference but while solving remember second number minus first number will be the value of d understood and uh, a will be the first number understood and the value of a will be the first number that's it so now let me move on to some of the example questions on this uh, ap logic so that you can able to understand how to apply the values in the formula so let me move on to question number one So question number one, one man started a project on the first day. One man joins on each day starting from second day. The project will be completed exactly in 20 days. So instead, a team of seven men worked regularly. The work will be completed exactly in how many days? So just see here friends, let me understand what is the concept of the question. So one man started a project on the first day. So from the second day, one man is adding right and finally the complete projects it gets completed on 20 days and what is our target instead right the same work if only seven man was doing how many days the project gets completed so initially one man started the project on the first day right so on the first day one man started the project from the second day what they are saying one man joins on each day starting from the second day so definitely we can say on the second day already one man is working on the second day one man joins so on the second day two persons third day three person fourth day fourth person so it goes on till the project get completed and we know the project get completed on the 20th day just read the question the project will be completed exactly in 20 days so totally they worked for 20 days so here let me assume that one man doing one part of work in one day some part of work right because the total work was completed in 20 days so what we can do is one day that is the first day one part of work is completed second day another two parts of work is completed third day three parts of work is completed so it goes on like some pattern just see here what we can do is one right plus two plus three plus four it goes on till 20 days because our target to find out of this 20 days total 20 days how much of work done right we don't know right the project is completed in 20 days but we don't know how much work was done so let me find this the total sum so it looks like an arithmetic progression just now i have taught you so for finding the total up to 20 we can use a formula that is s of n is equal to n divided by 2 into 2 of sorry 2a 
So, 2a plus n minus 1 into t. So, substitute all the values in the formula so that we can find what is the total work done in 20 days, right? So, n by 2. So, the value of n will be 20 because starting from 1, they, the complete project was completed in 20 days. So, the value of n will be 20. So, 20 by 2 into 2 of a. So, a will be the first number. So, a here is 1. So, plus n minus 1. So, 20 minus 1 will be 19 and d so d is the difference which means second number minus first number so second number minus first number the difference is 1 so 20 1 year so we can cancel it this becomes 10 so 19 plus 2 will be 21 right so 21 so 21 into 10 will be 210 so year 210 will be the total work done right understood so the total work in this 20 days is 210. But now what is our target at the last? If a team of 7 men work regularly. So for doing this work, only 7 men were appointed. So how many days the work will be completed? So usually you can say 220 is the total work. So only 7 men is appointed. So if we cancel it, 30 days. So only it will take 30 days to complete the work. Understood? So finally answer for this question number 1 is 30 days. So, here the logic all are same what we learned in all the previous lesson. Only one thing is we have learned here how to find the total work done. Because it is not an easy right one, one part of work done, two part of work done. Till 20 days we have to add all the values. If it is 60 days just see how difficult it is if we add like in a single term. So, that is what we have an AP formula we are directly substituting it in a formula and we found what is the total work done in 20 days. So, total work done in 20 days is 210. So, now our target this work should be done only by the 7 person. So, how many days it takes? So, divided by 7. So, we can say, it, we can say that it takes only 30 days to finish the work. That is it. Understood the logic friends. So, so, these are the questions are very rare question. But listen here after reading the question try to frame this series right. If you frame this series, then finding the total work done is easy. After finding the total work done, solving a question will be very simple. So finally, answer for question number 1, where answer is 30 days. Question number 3. A person can complete a job in 120 days. He work alone on day 1. On day 2 is joined by an another person. On day 3, they have joined by an another person and so on like this. So every day, a new person joins the work with the same efficiency. So, how many days is required to complete the job? So, friends understood the logic. So, what they are saying is a person can complete a job in 120 days, right? Single person efficiency. One person can complete a piece of job in 120 days is given. And second thing is he worked alone for day one. So, day one, one person is working. On the second day, he is joined with an another person. So, on the second day, two persons are working. And on the third day, how many persons are there? Three persons is working. Because it's so on, right? Just see the word again. On the day 3, they have joined with another person. So, it goes on in a logic. And uh, the persons that were appointed all are in the same efficiency. So, no problem. So, what is our target? How many days it required to complete the job? Just see here. First day, one person is working. Let me assume that one part of work is completed. On the second day, two part of work is completed. On the third day, three part of work is completed by the three person. But we don't know how many days it takes to complete the complete job. But we know that first point, a person can complete a job in 120 days. So the total job is 120. Understood friends? One person can complete a piece of job in 120 days. That is 120 units of work. So remember that in the previous question, we know the total work was completed in 20 days. So instead of n, we substituted 20 in the previous question. But here, we don't know this job in how many days it gets completed. So here we have assumed n because the total number of job completed, we don't know. That's what we need to find. But one person can complete a job in 120 days, sum of AP. The total sum of AP will be here, right? So same thing, substitute in a formula that is n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d is equals to 120, right? So, we don't know what is the value of n because we don't know how many days it takes to complete the work. So, let me keep the n as it is. So, n by 2, 2 into a. So, a will be the first number. So, first number is 1. So, 2 into 1 will be 2. So, plus. So, here also we can say that n minus 1 
and D will be the difference. So second number minus first number. So 2 minus 1, the difference is 1, is equals to 120. So now we need to solve this. So n by 2. So here we can say 2 plus n minus 1 is equals to 120. So n by 2. So n plus 1. So n plus 1 is equal to 120. So finally n into n plus 1 is equal to 120. Just see here either you can solve this equation you can find the answer. Or else what we can do is instead of n if I substitute 15 here. Right? For example, I am saying if for n, if I substitute 15, so 15 plus 1 will be 16. So 15 into 16 will be 120. So I am saying that the value of n is 15. Understood friends? Just equating. Got the logic right so here? Here n into n plus 1. I can just make a note here. n plus 1 is equal to 120 into 2 which is 240. Right? We need to multiply this 2. So 120 into 2 will be 240. Now, Either you can solve this equation like this. So, n square plus n minus 240 is equal to 0. Either you can solve an equation or else you can better think the value because we know the right hand side is 240. So, instead of n, if I substitute the value 15, right? If I substitute n is equal to 15, n plus 1 will be 15 plus 1 will be 16. If I multiply both the values, I am getting 240, right hand side value. So that's what I'm saying, the value of n is 15. So totally, the job is completed in 15 days. So the answer for question number 2 is 15 days. Understood? It's very easy, right? You should know how to write this pattern and also how to apply this in a formula. So that's it. So friends, understood? So this will be the answer for question number 2, where the work will be completed in 15 days. So friends, here is question number 3. So try to solve this question number 3 as a homework question. I think... Uh, after reading this question, try to find whether the value of n is given or value of n is not given. I think this question is based on the logic question number 1. right? So, we need to find the sum of the total AP. So, usually, you know, uh, after reading this question, you need to frame that order, sequence correctly. So, once you frame that sequence correctly, solving a question is very simple. So, once that's it about this lesson number 8. So, here the lesson number 8 is very small lesson. But remember that if you are preparing for any competitive exams in quantitative aptitude section that is time and work, you should know all the logics. So, that's what I have taught this in lesson number 8. You know, these are the questions that was asked in GMAT exam previous year, 2017. The first question that I have solved is a memory-based question of GMAT exam. Second question is a memory-based memory -based question of staff selection commission. So, remember, try to learn all the logics, right? So, that's it about this lesson number 8. So, thank you so much for watching this video. And don't forget to share this video to your friends if your friends are preparing for any competitive exams. So, thank you so much.